Welcome back. We are here with the Arizona Science Center. Um, I'm really excited about this because we were just talking um, uh, DePaul just a few minutes ago. Jonathan, you're here joining us. You guys already have a lot in common. We're both Chicagoans and we both went to the same school, different yeah. years, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, welcome. Uh, we are talking about Space Exploration Day and we're making straw rockets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so today in honor of National Space Exploration Day, we're making some straw rockets here. I brought some cool, cool things, some straw, some equipment here. Um, mostly it's just going to be talking about why straw rock or why rockets go in the first place. So there's can we, ta can we talk about space exploration though first? Yeah, of course. I mean, how far it's come, where we're going with it? Yeah, I mean, there's so much happening. I, we just had an event where Mark Kelly was actually there talking about just some of those highlights and specifically mm -hmm. because we have the mission 2045 at the Science mm -hmm. Center. So it kind of oh, explores yeah. right. into that right. a little bit of what space is happening now and then kind of uh, optimistic mm -hmm. chances that are going to be coming yeah. in the future. Right. Cool. Yeah. Can't Which do is, that without a rocket. Yeah, that's true. You need a rocket to do that. I see scissors over there and I just I'm getting antsy. I want to do something. Yeah, uh, the okay. scissors word if you wanted to cut off your own specific mm -hmm. rocket, if you want to do your own different shape. Um, okay. We have a lot of different tools here. We have this rectangle. If you wanted to do this at home, all you need to do is just have this and then some shapes to make it. Um, this was going to be kind of working as the body of the rocket. And so we made a whole bunch of different ones here with different diameters because different diameters means different outcomes. So we can kind of explore and oh, okay. see what that, what that would look like. So how is that like, because we were talking about the types of things it takes for a rocket to go. What's that like um, yeah. compared to having a different diameter? So when we're talking about rockets, there's a couple of different variables that come to play. Uh, one, there has to be enough force to get the rocket moving to start. Second, there can't be too much drag. So mm -hmm. the drag will, uh, put pressure against the rocket, causing it to slow down. And then lastly, the shape. So the shape is pretty much the most crucial part because the shape is going to go ahead and determine how, what the drag is going to look like exactly. Got it. So in is here, that, is that my, yeah, you could definitely take it. It has a tape there for you. And then this one has a tape for you as oh, well, okay. just in case if you wanted to make it. Oh, and then when we're way. looking at this guy, you can see the shape. We have a nose and then the fins. So the nose is going to help it keep it aerodynamic and the fins are going to help with stability. So mm -hmm. it's going to keep it going straight and further into the Earth's atmosphere, or in this case, in the studio's atmosphere. And that will help determine exactly how far. So yeah, you got to And load then it my up. thrust is my mouth, I'm taking Yeah, that's going to okay. be the force. Right. So you're going to be the start. So should I give you a countdown? One, three, two, it's one. Not go how, how did okay. yours go? And I wasn't even paying attention this entire <laughs> segment. <laughs> Okay. You can try, maybe we can see. Why do you think that one's not working? Do you notice anything? Do you feel any air? I don't have the lung out? capacity. I do feel the air coming out. I mean, There's some air. Maybe we change, okay. change I need a different, different diameter. One. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're all scientists. Oh, so here. we're going to make we're it a little thicker air. this time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So when the kids come up, oh. Oh, that would work. That one would pretty well. See? Okay, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think was the difference between that one? Uh, different diameter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different look, at, look at this. <laughs> Here, this is the one that you just used, and I put the rocket on there. Okay, so all right, perfect. We know I don't that know one's effective. <laughs> well, this is just revenge now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think, yeah. I think uh, the blue demons are protecting each uh -huh. other. Uh-huh, yeah. This okay, is... Jonathan, when you guys open, when can kids come unfair. and have some fun? Yeah, we're open every day from 10.30 to 4, um, and on Fridays we now are starting our extended hours. So please, there's a lot of opportunities to come visit us, and if you guys want to learn more, just visit us at azscience.org. <laughs> What are you doing wrong? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, here, blow it. I want to see if there's air. Huh, I have no idea. I you just have a particular one, I guess. This is clearly a user air problem. I just simply don't have the lung capacity. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I didn't want to reveal my medical condition of not having the lung capacity on air, but it's been revealed at this point. All right. We'll put all that info up this on our website. This was fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. One Thank more chance. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, coming up. <laughs>